Hey there, it's Shannon Matchick Myers, and today we'll be looking at a problem I posted as a discussion problem for one of my classes. We'll be checking out the proof of the limit as t approaches c of the dot product of two vector valued functions and show that it's equal to the dot product of the limits. All right, so the premise is that these two vectors, r at t and u at t, are vector valued functions and their limits exist as t approaches c. So let's go ahead and define what the heck r, and r at t and u at t look like. And this is a calculus three level proof, so we'll just go ahead and do this in space. So here we go. Proof. We'll let r at t equal to x1 at t plus times i plus y1 at t times j plus z1 at t times k and u at t will then be x2 at t times i plus y2 at t times j plus z2 at t times k. Cool so far? All right, well, let's start out on the left side of that statement. So the limit as t approaches c of the dot product of r at t and u at t is equal to the limit as t approaches c of, let's go ahead and put this into, we've written these as a linear combination of i, j, and k, um, but do you see that the, the component form would be for this one, x1 at t comma y1 at t comma z1 at t. And similarly, the second one would be x2 at t, y2 at t, and z2 at t. Cool, cool. So let's go ahead and utilize that um, notation. So we'd have the limit as t approaches c of this dot product here, x1 at t, y1 at t, I'm having in component notation, z1 at t, dot x2 at t, y2 at t, and sorry, I'm gonna move this bad boy over. z2 at t, all right, so by definition of dot product, we will have the limit as t approaches c of x1 at t times x2 at t plus y1 at t times y2 at t plus z1 at t times z2 at t. Good so far. So that is the dot product on the second line. We're going to need some more space here, so I'm going to move over my equal sign. 
So here, I'll, I'll break this into a couple of steps. This will be equivalent to the limit as t approaches c of x1 at t times x2 at t plus the limit as t approaches c of y1 at t times y2 at t plus the limit as x approaches t of z1 at t times z2 at t. Cool so far? That's just using the fact that the limit of a product, the, uh, sorry, the limit of a sum is the sum of the limits. Now we're going to utilize the fact that the limit of a product is the product of the limits. So we will have the limit as t approaches c of x1 at t times the limit as t approaches c of x2 at t plus the limit as t approaches c of y1 at t times the limit as t approaches c of y2 at t plus the limit as t approaches c of z1 at t times the limit as t approaches c of z2 at t. Cool, cool? But do you see, isn't this a dot product, right? So this in turn would equal to, if we put it in our component notation, what would we have? We would have the limit as t approaches c of x1 at t, comma, the limit as t approaches c of y1 at t, comma, the limit as t approaches c of z1 at t, dot, I'm going to put it on the bottom here, so dot, the limit as t approaches c of x2 at t, comma, the limit as t approaches c of y2 at t, comma, the limit as t approaches c of z2 at t, And that is equal to what? Well, we started out with, um, you know, a linear combination of i, j, and k for each of these. So we would have the limit as t approaches c of x1 at t times i plus the limit as t approaches c of y1 at t times j plus the limit as t approaches c of z1 at t times k. All of that dot the limit as t approaches c of x2 at t times i plus the limit as t approaches c of y2 at t times j plus the limit as t approaches c of z2 at t times k. But what do we have here? We have the limit as t approaches c of r at t, don't we? <laughs> dot the limit 
as T approaches C, a view at T. And so that's that next step is by, by definition. So this is the dot for dot product, as is this one here and this one here. And that last one's a period because we are done. Right? So just um, so you can match it up. So this part is here. And we have this part here, the bottom one, our second one is this here. That's by definition of the limit of a vector valued function. Groovy? All right, I hope you have a wonderful morning, afternoon, or evening whenever you're watching this show. And hey, if you like what I'm doing, please subscribe. Tell all your friends. Bye.